Hello friends, welcome to today's GCC class and in this class we will see the second part of trust models for good security environment. And in this second part, we are going to see the reputation based trust model and fuzzy trust model. First, let us see the reputation based trust model. In this model, the jobs are sent to a resource site only when the site is trustworthy to meet users demand. So, computing the trustworthiness is very important for a particular site with the following information. First information is defense capability and second one is direct reputation and third one is recommendation trust. So, these three values are very important to compute trustworthiness of your site. Let us see all these things in detail. The first one is defense capability. And defense capability refers to a site's ability to protect itself from the danger. That is how the sites will get protected by itself. It is accessed according to the factors like intrusion reduction, firewall, response capabilities and antivirus capacity and so on. So by using these factors, the site will get protected by itself. And second one is direct reputation. It is based on experience of prior jobs which are previously submitted to the site. So these reputations are measured by the prior jobs execution success rate. This is important first one and second one is cumulative site utilization how the site will be utilized and the third one is job turnaround time and fourth one is job slowdown ratio and so on. So by using these things we can measure the reputation ratio and the positive experience. The positive experience is associated with your site will improve its reputation and the negative experience with your site will decrease its reputation. So we should get only the positive response for a particular site. The second one is fuzzy trust model here. We need to compute two factors importantly. First one is security demand that is SD and second one is trust index that is TI. The job security demand which is supplied by user program. <coughs> but the trust index TI of a resource site is aggregated through the fuzzy logic inference process over all related parameters. So we need to compute trust index importantly. So we can use two level fuzzy logic to estimate the aggregation of trust parameter as well as security attributes and those values should be converted into scalar quantities and those attribute values are easy to use in job scheduling and resource mapping process. So computing uh, fuzzy logic that is two level fuzzy logic is very important for fuzzy trust model. Here the trust index is normalized as a single real number that number will fall between 0 to 1 any number between 0 to 1 if it is 0 that represent high risk at a particular site if the trust index value is 1 the site is totally risk free or fully trusted site okay so the fuzzy inference is accomplished through four steps the first one is falsification inferences aggregation and defalsification. Next one is second feature of trust model. Here a site's trust index cannot match the job security demand that is SD greater than TI but actually it should be TI that is trust index should be greater than or equal to security demand then the site will be trustworthy. Here the trust model provides detailed security features to guide site security upgrade. This site security upgrade is called as tuning the fuzzy system. Up to this we have seen the trust model for good security environment part 2. In part 2 up to this we have learned reputation based trust model and fuzzy trust model. These two trust models are very important in grid security environment. And in the next video, I will give you another important topic from 50 unit. Thank you.